or the only one of its kind getting a little bit of a break right now. Over the past four hours, we've seen steady rain uh, intermittent throughout central Alabama, but now live and in real time, the heaviest rainfall is in between Utah and Demapolis this morning, Forkland too. Some of these heavier rainfall rates roughly at about maybe a quarter of an inch per hour. Although it's moving, we still do have more thunderstorms that have the same amount of water in those clouds downstream. So a quarter of an inch an hour, we start stacking up those hours. Some of the areas shade and green are only about a half an inch per hour right now or less than a tenth in some spots. But you can see as that radar sweep moves through the atmosphere this afternoon, the impacts will start to pile up with the potential for flooding. That's going to be the concerns that we're going to have here in your hourly planner temperatures. They'll be in the 50s and 60s, but it'll be kind of breezy at times and wet too, so it won't feel really comfortable outside. But we don't are not seeing a whole lot of lightning even downstream with these thunderstorms, just the potential for a stack up of rain. By lunchtime today, we could have close to an inch of rain uh, when all is said and done. By the time we get into Friday, we still will be dealing with some showers. The next weather feature is going to be a cold front that eventually moves all of this moisture towards the east, so we could get close to three, maybe even four inches of rain in sections of Coleman County and Winston Walker and to Marion, Fayette, Lamar, Pickens, Tuscaloosa, Green. This is a situation here where it's mostly around those creeks, rivers and streams and all the tributaries. And we've got lots of those in central Alabama. If you live near one, you probably know it. Avoid the streets, especially if you're heading out this morning for work and you're not going to be home until five, six o'clock tonight. That's where you may run into those flooded spots because it's going to pile up while you're at work. This is what's happening now. The warm front's lifting up. It's got the Gulf of Mexico as a moisture source, so it's certainly not going to cut off the rain, but the temperatures are not frigid. It's just not very comfortable when you're talking about a cold, wet rain. So planning your day today, time right now is approaching 550 through 7 o'clock. You're just going to be dealing with intermittent rain showers. Not a problem. Again, heading out for work for the rest of the day. Plan on seeing that rain piling up and maybe even a line of showers and storms as it approaches by dinner time could potentially add more insult to injury. So we pile up the intermittent rain through midday today through lunch. There's that break around 2 o'clock in the afternoon and there's the line of showers and thunderstorms by nine ahead of that cold front. So that will continue to increase our flood potential, but the rain showers are expected to decrease in coverage, especially as we head towards the weekend.